Now, there is a, a book in the Bible uh, which is exclusively full of lament. Uh, unsurprisingly, it's called Lamentations. Now, the writer of that book had good reason to lament. He witnessed his whole nation devastated, invaded, robbed, plundered, survivors carted off into slavery in a distant land. And so he sits in the midst of the ruins and pours out his grief, uh, his horror, his pain, his dismay before God, which is actually the best thing that he could have done. But somewhere in, in the middle of that outpouring, something shifts and changes. It's as if a bit of sunlight starts to break through the dark clouds. He says this, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. His circumstances offered no reason for hope. They remained the same. The entire basis of his hope hung on God's reputation for loving kindness because of the Lord's great love. He has exhausted the what and the why, but now lifts his eyes to who. Who is this? Who is this God? And he chooses to stand firm in his faith. He speaks to himself. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. His circumstances are unchanged at that moment. But his perspective is radically altered. When we fix our hope on the who, and lament helps us to do that, there may yet be a lot of waiting before things change, but our waiting becomes worship.